आफ्टर इनिशिएटिंग श्याम चरण मास्टर बाबा जी द लायन योगी से टू हिज डिसाइपल इनिशिएशन इज ऑफ पैरामाउंट इम्पॉर्टेंस देयर फोर आई हैव इनिशिएटेड यू बट नाउ इन थ्री डेज टाइम आई वॉन्ट यू टू लीव फॉर योर होम यू हैव टू गो बैक टू वर्क योर फैमिली नीड्स यू बैडली श्याम चरण क्राइड एंड क्राइड ही डिड नॉट वॉन्ट टू गो हिज मास्टर कंसोल्ड हिम एंड सेड नो यू हैव टू डू समथिंग मोस्ट स्पेशल फॉर गॉड वाइल स्टेइंग विद योर फैमिली एंड लीडिंग द लाइफ ऑफ ए हाउस होल्डर यू हैव टू टीच फैमिली पीपल हाउ टू प्रे एंड मेडिटेट अदरवाइज पीपल हु आर मैरिड विल नेवर बिलीव इन गॉड एंड दे विल गिव अप स्पिरिचुअलिटी दे विल नॉट इवन एक्सेप्ट स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ सो यू मस्ट गो बैक बट आई एश्योर यू वेन एवर यू आर इन नीड ऑफ मी जस्ट इन वोक मी एंड आई शैल कम टू सी यू एंड ब्लेस यू विथ ए हैवी हार्ट श्याम चरण लेफ्ट फॉर होम on the way he stayed for 2 or 3 days at the home of some of his bengali friends in moradabad his friends started criticizing all spiritual masters they asked him do you believe in occult power or spiritual power we do not believe in it there was a time when indian sadhus did have occult power but now those days have gone people who claim that they have occult power are all fakes it is all lies then sham charan had to argue with his friends he said what do you mean there are spiritual masters who can come here and who can materialize i have just been initiated by a great spiritual master i know how much occult power he has all his friends disagreed they said absurd it cannot be so sham charan said if you do not believe me i can prove it just leave this room allow me to meditate for a few minutes and i promise you that my master will come here his friends were all laughing at him because he claimed that he was going to bring his spiritual master who was then far away in the himalayas they had no faith in this master's occult power but they were all curious so they left the room when they had left the room sham charan invoked baba ji most soulfully in 15 minutes time baba ji came into the room in his subtle body then he assumed his physical form sham charan was overjoyed to see his master inside the room but baba ji was furious he scolded and insulted sham charan mercilessly he said This is what you have done you have brought me all the way for this look at your audacity have i come from such a great distance only to please your curiosity and to challenge your atheist friends i warn you i will never never do this kind of thing again i told you that whenever you invoke me i shall come but i am revoking my promise to you now i wish to say that whenever i want to see you only then shall i come to you wherever you are baba ji was prepared to leave immediately but sham charan cried and cried for forgiveness then baba ji continued i have forgiven you but never invoke me any more to display my occult power or to display your devotion only when i feel the need shall i come to see you in the inner world you can invoke me you can feel my presence but i do not want to show my physical presence in this way any more sham charan bowed down to baba ji and said o oh master now that you have come out of your infinite compassion please please give me a boon what boon do you desire asked baba ji my friends are in the adjacent room said sham charan i want them to come and see you so that they will believe in your occult power the master laughed at him saying yes and also in your invocation power i shall listen to your request this time go and tell them to come Sham Charan opened the door and his friends came in. They were so stunned to see a strange sadhu seated before them on the floor in a lotus position. He had long hair and a long beard and he was absolutely full of luminosity. 
Baba ji smiled at each person and they bowed down to him. Baba ji said to them, "Now I want to give you more proof. Give me something to eat." Sham Charan brought a chapati for his master and Baba ji ate it in front of everyone. Then Baba ji asked those friends to leave the room. When they had departed, Baba ji said to Sham Charan, "Once again, I am telling you, this is the last time that I shall come to you when you invoke me. I shall not listen to you any more. Nobody is going to accept spiritual life from my presence. Only out of sheer curiosity, those friends of yours came." Then Baba ji asked Sham Charan also to leave the room for a few minutes. When he returned, Baba ji had disappeared. My dear brothers and sisters, the display of occult power or spiritual power in order to create aspiration is an indication of lack of wisdom. Miracle power does not and cannot change humanity's face. Humanity's face can be transformed only by inner awakening, inner cry, inner dedication and inner surrender to God. Curiosity is not spirituality and inner cry is the only true spirituality which God appreciates lovingly compassionately and unreservedly for God's universal oneness universal love universal light and universal delight can be made manifest only in our hearts inner cry I hope you learn Om Namah Shivaya